Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. I am starting a new series today. Today is Saturday, November the 1st, on understanding Bible prophecy. And I doubt if I am going to get them finished before my channel on the internet is shut down, but it is still important for you to understand how to understand the end times prophecies in Scripture. And the reason it is important is because once the Antichrist takes over and the Catholic Church and the United States and Britain are all taken down, then many people will want to understand the Bible who are completely in the dark. And you will have a tremendous advantage because you will know the basic rules. And certainly my channel will not be around. There will be a lot of false prophets around, but they will not have the answers that you will have. And there are seven basic rules, three rules that always apply, and four more rules that very often apply. Now, the first of these seven rules is symbolism. And you must understand that the symbolic interpretation of end times Bible prophecy takes precedence over the literal interpretation. And for example, in the book of Revelation, there are 15 end time chapters, that is chapters 6 through 21. In those chapters, the symbolic interpretation takes precedence over the literal. Now in the first five chapters, this is not true. The literal interpretation takes precedence. For example, the seven churches that John writes letters to are real churches. But in the 15 end times chapters, the church is still present. Don't listen to the false prophets. The entire church is not raptured. But the church is found under hidden symbolism. And now the second very important, in fact, another of the three most important characteristics is sacred numerology. Now the reason I say sacred is because Satan has hijacked numerology and if I use just the word numerology I get criticized because people say it's satanic. Actual numerology is found in the Bible but let's call it sacred numerology. And the four most important numbers in Bible prophecy are 4, 7, 12, and 28 as I have mentioned many times on this program. And that's because those are the last numbers in a chronological sequence. The fourth week of a month is the last week. The seventh day of a week is the last day. The twelfth month of a year is the last month. And the twelfth hour is the last hour of a day. And 28 is a multiple of four and seven. And there is a corollary to numerology being very important, and that is that you cannot add or subtract to literature. And St. John points this out very well in his book of Revelation when he says, if you add or take away from the words in this chapter, the plagues in this chapter will fall upon you. Now he is not talking about interpretation. He is talking about numerology. And I always give the example of the Navarre Bible, which has five blesseds in those 15 end time chapters. And that is a huge error because there are only four blesseds. And those four blesseds refer to the raptured Protestants, the protected Catholics, the holy martyrs, and the converted Jews. And the third rule, which is always in force, is that you need a co-prophet to understand end times Bible prophecy. That's because end times prophecy is a work of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit always requires two people, very much the same as speaking in tongues. As Paul says, speaking in tongues has no edification for the church unless someone interprets. In other words, it takes two people. And the same way with prophecy. Even the words of our Lord himself in the Olivet Discourse. His prophecies must be interpreted by a co-prophet. And I've never said I am the only co-prophet. For example, Jody Cephas understands that the chapters in Daniel must be rearranged. And very few understand this. But once the internet is taken away, 
you will have to be a co-product. And that's exactly why I am doing this series. And now that you know those three rules, which are always true, let's look at four more rules, which are almost always true. And the first of these is dual meaning. And sometimes there is more than two meanings, sometimes three and four meanings. And I'm going to talk about in this program a prophecy that has four fulfillments. And sometimes the prophet tells you what those interpretations are. For example, the scarlet beast in the book of Revelation has seven heads. And John tells you that those seven heads symbolize seven kings and seven mountains. And there's a corollary to the dual meaning. And that is that there are two or more fulfillments very often to verify the end times prophecy. And this is especially true with Daniel. The near time fulfillment has already come true, therefore promising you that the end times fulfillment will also come true. And the next rule, which is not always true, but almost always true, and that is that the chronology of end times Bible prophecy is not quite correct. For example, in Daniel's six vision chapters, he even indicates at the beginning what king is reigning. And all you have to do is to rearrange the chapters so that historically we know in what sequence they should be read. And there is a corollary to their chronology not being in its correct position, and that is that you must rearrange the chapters and the verses. This helps you understand their chronology, but also gives you an end times prophecy itself very often. And that end times prophecy very often leads to rule number six, and that is that Mary's rosary will defeat the Antichrist. Now, I've never said that Jesus not, does not defeat the Antichrist, but the weapon he uses is Mary's rosary, just as David chose five smooth pebbles to defeat Goliath. And the seventh rule is mystery. End times Bible prophecy is a work of the Holy Spirit. And the, one of the chief characteristics of the Holy Spirit is mystery. And all you have to do is look at, for example, statues that are made out of gold and silver and bronze and iron and clay. All you have to look at is the image of the woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. Or you look at the beasts in Revelation, which have seven heads and ten horns. All this mysterious imagery not only helps in our understanding, but it helps to etch those memories into our mind. Those images become very real, and the Holy Spirit knows exactly what he is doing. And so in conclusion, as I said, I'm going to do a video program on each of the seven rules, the three rules that are always in place, and the four rules that are almost always true. And believe me, you will need to know how to do this because there will be very few people in your community after all of these things come about, after the whore of Babylon is burned with fire in one hour, after the internet is shut down. People will be clamoring for information and hopefully you will know yourself how to understand Bible prophecy. You will be the co-prophet in your area. And as always, if you would like more information, especially about unsealing all the great prophecies of Daniel, please visit my new thirdeaglemedia.com website. Hold everything, I forgot to tell you about the prophecy that has four different fulfillments. And that is when our Lord says, destroy this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up again. So I will give you that as an assignment rather than discussing it here on this program. And I will give your answers and my answer in the next program, because it is a very amazing prophecy with four different fulfillments.